I'm Charlie Roy and this is Sonar X2. Today we're going to be going over some basic drum editing and this is how, what I got. I got one instance of Session Drummer 3 set up and you want to make sure that is highlighted. Go to Views, Piano Roll View, open it up. I've basically taken a simple click track and recorded a guitar part over it and this is what I got. <laughs> Okay, so let's get moving in this right away. First of all, my snap is set at 1 8th. And this being set at 1 16th, make sure it is last touched. You might think this is a pain in the ass, and I'm going to tell you why it isn't. It's a very useful and powerful tool. Okay, I'm going to start right away by going to the start end point, and I'm going to put a bass drum. This is the opening note. And I'm going to put a snare drum. I like my snare a little bit louder in rock. So I'm going to go up a little bit louder. You can see that's 104 the bass should be 103. If you just hold down on the note, it'll read out you know, what your velocity is and tell you if you just hold down on it. Now, again, by hovering over the top of the note, the pencil tool changes with those bars on it, and then left clicking and dragging up, you can change the velocity of that note just like that. You can also do it down here by left clicking and going like this. Okay, But I do like to have control. I like to see what I'm doing. So I do like this right around 105 is good enough. So bass drum is 100, snare drum is 105. So my bass drum, I want to continue. Clicking here, I just touched that, so I know this next one is going to be the same velocity at 100. My snare, I like a little bit louder. So like I said, that's 105. My next note is going to be 105. So this will continue to keep the notes varied and at different velocities, making it sound like a much more real kit than it, you know, it really is. Um, let's just listen to this. And actually, as you can see, this bass note has to be dropped over. I'm going to reset it and drag this over. Okay, I want to add another bass note in here. So I'm going to touch it and drag this right here. I like it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to lasso all these notes together. I'm going to hold down the control key. And then I'm going to drag these notes right over. So now I've doubled the pattern. Let's listen to it again. Okay, like it. Now let me add some symbols in. Now, when I look for symbols, I don't sit here, you know, going down this row saying, okay, where's my symbol? I just, I just nab one in anywhere. Okay, that's a ride. Well, guess what? Drag it to the symbol. Okay, like it. Good, it's fine. I just want to check the velocity. So again, I hover right over that note. Uh, maybe bring it up a little bit on the crash, 104. Okay, now I'm going to add in some rides. And let's do this, okay? I got one ride here, another ride here. Again, I'm left-clicking, dragging ever so slightly to the right. Okay, so now I've got four rides in there. And what I like to do now is I like to do this. I like to make them all a little bit different, okay? I want to make it sound like a real drum kit, so I'm going to play with them a little bit. Change all the velocities really easy. This humanizes the feel of the kit. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to split them and attach them all together by right clicking, and this is a lasso move, okay? I'm going to listen to it. Okay, that's not bad, but you know what? I'd like to see what it sounds like as if it was a hi hat. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these notes and I'm going to drag them down on the hi-hat. Okay, right now I'm at the hi-hat. So what I'd also like to do is double the extent of these notes. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to drag. So now I've just doubled it out. Okay, let's listen to it. Okay, I like it, but I want a couple open hats in there. Like this one. This should be open, so let's do this. This one should be open too. Okay, I like it. I like the hats. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the symbols and the hats all together. I'm going to hold control down and I'm going to copy them all and drag them right over. I like it except for this. I don't need that, that symbol. Right click it and delete it. Bang. Gone. I like it. So now all I have to do is right click this whole thing just like that. Take it, hold down control, and bring it right over here. I 
like it all except the end. What I really need to do is take these snares. I want to actually add a couple more snares in, so let me do this. And let me see this. Okay, bring up the volume on these all together by lassoing them and dragging them up. And then I should have something like this. And I'm going to take these and make these all open hats. So let me take these and lasso these bad boys and bring them up. Let's listen to this. And actually, I probably would benefit by having a snare towards there too. And bringing up the velocity by using the pencil tool. Let's listen. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. Okay, as you can see, this can be a very powerful tool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy.